Hello and welcome to Negative Feedback. Today I'm rejoined by Dan. Hello. We're going to be shooting landscapes today, but not some serious landscapes where you're going to camp out for a few days just to get one shot. This is the kind of landscape photography where you can just get out of the city, go somewhere close with some friends, and have some fun taking pictures of nature. So this might seem a bit confusing, but because we had to get up so early to try and catch the sunrise this morning, we're now going to go back in time to yesterday? So my number one tip for landscape photography is if you're trying to get that early sunrise shot, definitely find somewhere cheap to stay the night before so you don't have to get up so early. Isn't that right, Dan? So, hello. Um, it's currently 5.53 a.m. We've been up for 50 minutes. I don't feel too bad yet. Um, let's go and explore Lewis. So we're very fortunate to be shooting a lovely selection of cameras. We're going to be shooting on Mamiya 7, uh, Hasselblad X-Pan and we do have the introduction of something that may look a bit confusing but hopefully it's not which is a 4x5. Now I've shot 5.4 before but this is George's first time and neither one of us have shot this particular Linhoff camera so a few days ago we decided to take it out and do some test shots. We've got our 5.4 and the Mamiya 7 loaded with Portrait 400. We're going to shoot the scene at the exact same settings, so wide open at f5.6 on the 5.4, and then just stop down one stop on the Mamiya. So then we'll be able to do a comparison of both just how the film performs or should perform equally, because it's the same, but also between the film sizes. Put your mom on it. Call this the dance of death. That's still pretty fast. I don't think we're going to have much movement, but the 30th. So we're shooting two frames of this scene, one on color, the Portrait 400, and then uh, the other on the black and white, the Berger 400. Uh, it'll be a really nice comparison of the same exposure settings uh, and the differences between the color and the black and white. So one of the most confusing things about using this camera for me is that when you're composing your image, everything is actually upside down, which can be a bit confusing when you're composing your image, but it's like it, it does make you think a bit more about the image you're going to take and really concentrate, which is also a good thing. So either that or something completely different. But I think I preferred the other shot. You did? All right, let's do that. What do we? Uh, which direction? Oh. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, hey there. You just find me casually loading my film because we forgot to last night or this morning. And we thought it'd be a good idea to leave it until now. This light is gonna be exactly the same as this for at least the next 10, 15 minutes. I actually know what I'm somewhat doing now. <laughs> Was that slightly overexposed? That's it, okay. Sounds like a go. 250 or 125? It's on 125. 125. Can, right? It's still a wide. 